चीफ गेस्ट डॉक्टर मोहन खेरडे डायरेक्टर नॉलेज रिसोर्स सेंटर संत गाडगे बाबा अमरावती युनिवर्सिटी अमरावती अँड प्रेसिडेंट इंडियन लायब्ररी असोसिएशन ऑनरेबल व्हाईस चान्सलर डॉक्टर राजेश शेखरन पिल्लई सोमय्या विद्याविहार युनिव्हर्सिटी प्रोफेसर इंदुराव वायदंडे एमिरेटिस प्रोफेसर अँड युनिव्हर्सिटी लायब्ररियन सोमय्या विद्याविहार युनिव्हर्सिटी मुंबई मिस्टर एन व्ही सत्यनारायण चेअरमन अँड मॅनेजिंग डिरेक्टर इन्फॉर्मॅटिक्स इंडिया लिमिटेड प्रो प्रोफेसर शालिनी अरस फाउंडर मायरा स्कूल ऑफ बिझनेस मायसोर ऑल पॅनलिस्ट स्पीकर्स एच ओ एस अँड ऑल पार्टिसिपंट्स आय मिसेस गौरी गोठिवरेकर लायब्ररियन के जे सोमय्या आय टी कॉलेज साय एन वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर द वॅलिडिक्टरी प्रोग्राम ऑफ द थ्री डेज इंटरनॅशनल लायब्ररी टेक्नॉलॉजी कॉन्क्लेव ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू दॅट इज एल टी सी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू नव आय रिक्वेस्ट प्रोफेसर हिंदुराव वायदंडे टू गिव्ह द वेलकम नोट अँड इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ आवर चीफ गेस्ट ओवर टू वायदंडे सर प्लीज गुड इव्हनिंग टू ऑल रिस्पेक्टेल ऑनरेबल व्हाईस चान्सलर सर प्रोफेसर मोहन खेरडे मिस्टर सत्यनारायण और प्रोग्राम डायरेक्टर प्रोफेसर शालिनी अर्स मॅडम डॉक्टर जगदीश अरोरा सर ऑल द की नॉट एट डी सी इमिडियंट पीपल पॅनलिस्ट पार्टिसिपंट्स लायब्ररियन्स सोमया विद्यार फॅकल्टी ऑन ऑन ऑल माय फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर रीच अप टू द ला एंड ऑफ द फंक्शन दॅट इज अ व्हॅलिडिटी फंक्शन आय जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू इंट्रोड्यूस अवर टुडेज गेस्ट दॅट इज डॉक्टर मोहन खेडे सो आय नो डॉक्टर मोहन खेडे ऑलमोस्ट मोर दॅन थर्टी थर्टी इयर्स initially we were for the some open university we are working together for the it related activities now he he is a librarian now we say the director of the knowledge resource center amravati university uh, and uh, he also uh, having the now you, all the library professional must be knowing that he has been elected for the as a uh, chairman of the indian library association for that we congratulate you for this uh, event also uh, dr uh, mohan kade he was a ex treasurer of nagpur amravati vidyapeet itihas parishad life member of the akil maharashtra itihas parishad life member of the nagpur amravati vidyapeet itihas parishad also uh, he is a resource person phd guide examiner and also he, he is also promoting that uh, maharashtra university college librarians association and under mukla every monthly publication it is coming e, e publication and all the events what are the happening in the maharashtra all the universities and librarians because the e, each uh, university they are having their activities for example the bombay university college Li librarians association Ma then then shivaji university Li college libraries like that all the state of university they are having their own activities and also he also has a rich experience in the teaching as well as a, in the field of the research also and also uh, he has published articles in journals and articles edited books also he has having so sir i on the on the uh, international event that ltc 2022 i uh, and the somaya vidyavarvati and informatics uh, we welcome you for this uh, valedictory function now uh, next part uh, as a organizing secretary of this event for the three days uh, just i wanted to have uh, the some of the things and then uh, just i wanted to mention about the how this uh, event we have started because of the pandemic situation uh, we started uh, this uh, this function uh, this event because when last year when we were planned that time there was a situation pandemic situation there was a limited uh, participation and then there was a guideline of the world health organization and the government of maharashtra keeping in mind we were in the dual mind that whether we have to go to online or the physical and then uh, we uh, plan our organizing committee decided that okay let it be 150 participants uh, physically and then uh, 500 plus participants online 
but then it is found that still after this uh, uh, situation uh, still uh, people are uh, reluctant to physically come to the organization uh, and some of the even the for, for the some of the uh, participants they rang up and asked really well, the, how is the situation in mumbai so can we come or not so that's why but even though we are having 100 uh, this participants we are there physical and online and we are having here these things uh, uh, then one more there are two more announcement to we revised we made it we wanted to make it uh, this is the participation for the 50% discount for all the students and accordingly this was the last we taken the decision and then already we put this information on the um, website and also we have communicated to all the uh, university department of library and information science uh, in the maharashtra and all over the, that we have sent it also so this is the uh, this uh, and then accordingly uh, uh, also in the specially for the mumbai librarians mumbai librarians more than 100 uh, special invite uh, invitation were sent for the librarians uh, they can join for this function uh, we have the we had the rigorous meetings about the uh, this uh, conclave international conclave and event and the force behind is our honorable vice chancellor sir and the entire this, this work uh, academic work has been carried out with a, with a, under the guide guide uh, guideship of uh, professor shalini madam and we have uh, madam has taken a lot of pain to have the deciding the uh, this is the our panelist and then uh, um, uh, panel sessions uh, deciding for the all this uh, uh, foreign uh, keynote addc and then uh, panelist i just wanted to mention here that we had the first day we had the tutorial and where that uh, um, uh, robin rice and kevin uh, they have also uh, they, uh, they, they were having the tutorial and also on next day onwards we are having the six panel sessions with the uh, 18 panelists they were there and then actually we wanted to this is the uh, the research data management the topic which also it was suggested this is the all over globe this is the on this issue uh, that we need to give thought librarian should have more and more attention about the research data management and even also today also we might have uh, found when the panelists were making presentation and then we are talking about the data management and this one and our honorable shalini madam also mentioned that not only data management it is research data management and that need to be still it need to be go, go to the minds of the librarian because these are new field and then we only know the data but how to manage the data it needs to be um, um, and we in this session last three days session we lot of brain wash for the librarian space how we have to be go with the uh, open access archives and how we will go for this uh, uh, new thing that it needs to be uh, because we are the people we are guide for the phd faculty and the, whatever the new things we provide for the our faculty and students it is the, then it will reach for the quality education uh, also just i uh, i just wanted to have uh, we uh, the somaya vidyavar university informatics uh, we are thankful to the Uh, keynote address panelist uh, uh, the uh, whatever the no, just i want to mention here uh, actually we in the somaya vidyavar university we are having the setup of the we can have the more than 70 to 80 participants we can accommodate in the here in the campus but then we have, we have decided that ki let it be uh, again we will have in the hotel where they can get the good food and then breakfast another thing that's why we made the arrangement in the hotel but still the hotel also there are people are reluctant to uh, join in the hotel for the accommodation also but we have tried our best my uh, whatever the inconvenience caused by the participants uh, it is a, it is a my mistake <laughs> so <coughs> i apology for that so then nobody has reported to me but then i think that because i better services would have given for them because the getting the hotel in our now this season after the two years pandemic situation now hotels are becoming but thank you yeah so now uh, this uh, okay 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 so uh, i am thankful to all the uh, this one uh, and uh, all the all of you already i mentioned about the uh, my my, my library science department also and the force behind is our honorable vice chancellor i am thank you very much sir and i am really i am thank you all of you for the giving this opportunity to uh, organize this internal event thank you very much
feedback is a tool that can help people evaluate themselves and their work and also how others perceive them. We have received uh, some feedback from delegates. Uh, we request to present the same. So first I request Dr. Swapna Banerjee. Uh, can you please give the mic to her? Ma'am, you'll give you the mic. I was very happy uh, to join this uh, LTC 2022 enclave. And this is my first uh, meeting here. And it was a wonderful one. I would like to thank each and everybody. First of all, I'd like to uh, pay my heartfelt thanks to Professor Pillai, the Honorable Vice Chancellor, because I saw him attending the sessions, questioning and answering also. So it was a very much pleasure for us library professionals to see you, sir, attending the sessions and also inspiring us in that way. And under your able leadership, I think we, they could manage this thing so nicely. Then our sp special thanks to Mr. Satyanaran because without his endeavor, this could not have happened. And today only in the lunchtime, I was telling that so cool you are, sir. How can you keep so cool amid so much tension <laughs> and you can manage all things so properly? And special thanks to him for uh, this um, award, the, these awards, because this will help to inspire the young researchers and the libraries to bring out with new ideas and new innovations. So a very good, a great thanks to you. Then my heartfelt thanks to Professor Shalini Arts, because from the day this uh, LTC 2022 was conceived, I was with her in various ways, she contacted me, and I could see the pain she took and the strain she took for arranging everything. Uh, on virtually, I could see, and when I came here, I could see physically also every time uh, she was taking all the decisions and all the things, and so nicely she coordinated the programs, she uh, took the feedback, she summarized the keen speeches, and in total, she uh, gave her uh, speeches so nicely, and her, under her able leadership, I think the event was organized so nicely. A special thanks to Professor Wadande. I hope I had spelled the things correctly, because uh, he's so energetic. I think he was senior to me, sir, but he was so energetic, so vibrant, so enthusiastic. Every time you are uh, dynamic so much, and I could never see you sitting still, and uh, you were looking at the convenience and the problems and anything, and under your leadership, your whole team took and to our uh, uh, needs and everything, and manage the conclave so nicely, your hospitality, everything. There was not, none inconvenience for us, sir, as you told. We were all very, very uh, convenient in all aspects. Thank you, sir, very much. <laughs> and I got a lot of input from the keynote speakers, from the um, anchors, from the panelists, and Myself, I enriched myself a lot, and I am taking a lot of gigabytes and terabytes of data with me to Kolkata, and I think all the participants are also taking data, especially on research data management. So I thank all of you. It was a very great pleasure to be with you all, and I hope next year also LTC will do uh, organize such a nice workshop. Uh, thank you all. Thank you so much, Swapna, ma'am. Uh, our next delegate uh, feedback is from Dr. Manju Naika, IIT, Bombay, Mumbai. Will you please hand over the mic to him? Yeah. Good evening to all of you. Uh, sorry, just now only got the uh, instruction to give you feedback. This is my spontaneous feedback. So don't mind that if there are some mistakes. Uh, I know the program chair, Professor Shalini, Madam, 
is almost all from last two decades. Uh, simultaneously, I have uh, heard their lecture, uh, Satya Sir lecture, last 20 years. They have set a, a certain standard. They never come back. So what I can uh, see uh, two decades back where they started this scholarship at a five-star hotels. So same thing they are delivering even in academic institutions. So there's no compromise on what they are delivering, whether it's a conference, whether it's a workshop, whether it's a training. Uh, thank you. Uh, you brought uh, speakers from all over the world. Uh, you have created awareness about uh, this is a completely new discipline for many people. You introduced it, you created awareness. Definitely, they will take away, they will work on it, they will implement it, okay, their organization. They will serve the user, particularly uh, the most of us, uh, the open science is a long journey. Yeah, but they ask, okay, they have taken all of us in their journey. We have taken uh, one step by step. Uh, any initiative uh, which takes care about uh, the large society in the world, it will not happen immediately. It will take time. At the end of the day, the data is not a natural resource. So what uh, water we are drinking, uh, the most 71% of the Earth's surface is covered by water, but still we are paying a huge amount uh, for the drinking water because uh, there are people who are adding a value. So in the same case, the data creating itself is a costly, and also it's created by the best institution in the world. Uh, the library community who handle the data need to handle very carefully. We need to handle the data better than information. So in that uh, direction, uh, the whatever you uh, arrange, okay, whether panel discussion, whether a keynote address, or the informal way we discuss, uh, we learned a lot. Uh, definitely it will help us. We will work in the open science journey. I hope many of us, okay, delegates also uh, learned uh, so they have a positive feedback. I will heartily congratulate all of you. Uh, though you beginning itself, you, uh, Satya sir, you said that uh, most of the major publishers uh, one of the revenue is that they organize the conferences. Conference is one of the way, apart from the journal subscription, they generate money. But you rightly said that your uh, purpose, okay, this is only for academic service or public service. There is no intention of generating any money. At the end of the day, I will say that. So it will help you in one or other way. Since informatics is doing lot of uh, paid services for many open source software. Uh, in RDM also, I hope you will, uh, in addition to organizing this conference, you can provide a, a support, uh, like a consultancy support, or providing a software in cloud, or giving a training to the institution, research institution, where they have lack of uh, technology infrastructure. Uh, these are all my feedback. Thank you very much. I congratulate all of you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, now our third uh, delegate who likes to give the feedback is uh, Mr. Prahlad Jadav, Associate Director, Khetan, Mumbai. Good evening, one and all. Uh, please take my feedback on the basis of ROI, return on investment. Knowledge is of no value unless you put into practice. At the end of the day, what I should I get it? Right, my dear friend? Malakai Vitlo, Tindivas. We are here from last three days. A tremendous knowledge exchange between the connected stakeholders. And definitely, uh, definitely it was a huge, huge gaining. But unless and until you put it into practice, there is no ROI. So I'm very frankly, uh, definitely uh, next week I'm traveling, but next to next week, there will be a plan from my side to my management, how we can do a RDM, RDM for my research query database. Generally, in legal firm, we get a lot of queries from the lawyers. So I'm thinking on that. So that is for me. Uh, we, uh, we have to give thanks to each and everyone. Pan Paile Potoba, Nantar Knowledgeaba. Kaya Ganoba. 
the we had enjoyed the fruits thoroughly all the three days breakfast lunch dinner was superb but definitely in the evening i'm missing dinner that is different story third thing i won't like to thanks organizer for the speakers keynote speakers and the panelist on a single platform we enjoyed not only our national heroes in terms of knowledge gaining but they are also organized speakers from the different countries that is one of the usp of this conclave i really enjoyed their sessions their inputs which will definitely gaining a knowledge for me uh, one stakeholder of this conclave that is informatics uh, dr satyanarayana with her uh, a lady that is shalini urs ma'am and their team whole team had put on a lot of efforts for organizing such a beautiful event uh, beautiful not in the sense of only five star but at the at the same time they are also taken care of the uh, the uh, the sessions which is involved in different perspective of rdm so thank you so much uh, first part of the stakeholder the last part of the stakeholder that is uh, somaya uh, campus which is uh, including different colleges and somaya university i must salute your leader dr rajshekar who had supported you very well for this event uh, not only in terms of organizing but he was there for 3 3 days even a uh, few days back uh, two, uh, two weeks back when we are here that time also sir make a point and he attended that small gathering also so thank you so much for that and definitely uh, thanks to all the fellow participants patiently we are here for last 3 days we are reaching home 11 o'clock 11:30 still the next day morning we are here for uh, breakfast so it was a uh, the uh, the uh, the scenario we had created and the way we uh, connected to each other it is really hats of you thank you so much for all your sacrifices and for all this great happening thank you so much thank you so much prala sir and thank you so much all the delegates for their wonderful feedbacks uh, now i request our today's chief guest डॉक्टर मोहन खेरडे डायरेक्टर नॉलेज रिसोर्स सेंटर संत गाडगे बाबा अमरावती युनिवर्सिटी अमरावती एंड प्रेसिडेंट इंडियन लाइब्ररी असोसिएशन टू एड्रेस द ऑडियंस ओवर टू यू सर इट्स रियली प्राउड मोमेंट फॉर अस लाइब्ररी प्रोफेशनल्स टू हैव यू एंड टू हियर फ्रॉम यू ओवर टू यू सर गुड इवनिंग ऑल ऑफ यू द कंक्लूडिंग सेशन ऑफ दिस Three days international conclave on research data management and stewardship. The chairman of this conclusion session, Professor Yen Rajshekharan Pillai sir, conclude chair because it is a. it is actually it is important position in any conference or any conclave professor nv satyanarayana organizing secretary dr vaidyanandey sir of the dais professor arora sir urs madam all other dignitaries professionals ladies and gentlemen i know it is a concluding session and when just i'm listening the feedback from the participants and what feedbacks is coming means in the last session in concluding session though i am not there in the conclave from last 3 days but only during that 10 to 15 minutes i came to know that really this particular conclave this conference is organized successfully so congratulations to this organizer informatics and somaya vidyavar university and also organizing secretary dr vaidyanandey sir one thing 
i just mark during the feedback just come from the your participants he has mentioned that honorable vice chancellor professor pillai sir attended this conference attended the technical sessions of this conference sir i never seen before it actually it is a just i can say for profession it is very good thing that is important and that's why i can yes yes conference is successfully organized this conference get success not only because of food not only because of accommodation but because of academic food that is important and such kind of conferences very few conferences are there they organize successfully in that direction that is important so another thing is that dr vaidande mentioned here that the theme of the conference with the help of professor shalini urs madam with the help of madam they are just say this conference should be on particular theme and theme is very nice because what happened data management is another thing but research data management that is important i think uh, mr prahlad he has mentioned that he can say when he go back to the institution his institution he can say that how i can use research data management in our institution means during that three days period you came to know that what is the real application of research management data uh, research data management that is the success of the conference that is success of not only conference but it is it could happen only because of the resource person you are invited for this conference they are very very up to that intellectual level and that's why you can enjoy you can enjoy all technical sessions of the conference as well as panel discussion also so i will not take much time because i know it is a concluding session and everybody want to go back to their destination so i will not take much time i would take this opportunity thank you for organizer for giving me opportunity to come over here and being a chief guest you allow me to speak few words so thank you thank you very much thank you thank you so much sir now i request uh, nv satyanarayana conclave chair informatics to address the audience please good evening friends as the good old saying uh, goes in every event all good things come to an end and again start so i don't know how good the conference was it is for you people to judge and respond this is the last session of uh, the sixth conclave sixth library technology conclave ltc 2022 so it's just to reflect on the the whole event the way we went about as i said in the beginning uh, we are in the sixth one it has been an interesting journey for us 
the whole thought came as i said in the introductory uh, in, the, in the inaugural session itself we were driven by the technology to drive the library profession in some way as our contribution to the profession to think and act for its future positioning as i said earlier and i strongly believe in library the shape and future of libraries will continue to be driven all the time by technologies and tech new technologies emerge faster each time throwing up new opportunities one has to be you know alert and alive to figure out what new technology is going to impact and what current technologies we need to adapt without losing much time so uh, ltc 2022 is an effort in this direction of uh, keeping the lis uh, community alert and help them in as much as possible that's all the intent with which we started and that's reflected in the theme of uh, every conclave we started when we we started with the library management system as koha basically uh, it was uh, almost the, you know period where open source uh, softwares were uh, taking over or overtaking the commercial softwares in many areas it happened uh, it started happening extensively in the library management sphere also where libraries were spending uh, lakhs and lakhs for uh, uh, buying and maintaining a proprietary library management software that is when we introduced koha and we started as koha conclave which finally became library technology conclave so the uh, one of the earliest team we had was the team we had was uh, library service platform which was a development uh, thought in those days and today we are getting closer to see a library service platform which integrates the search and the management function both we that was followed by e learning how libraries can uh, adapt e learning and integrate their services with the e learning platforms the institutions use for content delivery as part of the course curricular program the next was on e science and in some way the open science movement you see today and is uh, a reflection of uh, e science initiatives and the research data management in specific was uh, an extension of e science topic last year uh, to uh convey the message that research data management is an exciting new opportunity for librarianship the lis profession to position itself in new areas like you, all of you, lis profession which is always in a kind of a crossroad i guess it's a the profession is always continues to be in crossroad Uh, and taking the challenge because the entire content today if you look at it has moved to cloud your library is in the cloud you have nothing in your physical library other than providing services to your users and most of the services libraries users are themselves able to use so it uh, in effect becomes a kind of a being at a crossroad of uh, with a question of survival and i must say that lis profession has remarkably done well each time finding new opportunities like what you have found in uh, becoming champions of open access and setting up uh, institutional repositories and uh, supporting the publishing activities of the organization and what not so the research data management is another area where the lis profession can climb stewardship in the coming years because researchers i think one of the surveys also showed researchers neither have time nor have intent 
to really bother about managing the data. It is too much for them. And someone has to manage. And uh, I don't think anybody else can manage it better than uh, the LIS profession because it has been managing information resources in very many ways. So that is what was the motivation. And I hope we are successful in bringing home the message that here is an opportunity, get a foster, and uh, don't miss the bus. And now India is in the forefront of technology, like in digital technology, particularly in, uh, if you look at digital cash transfer, India went way ahead of the rest of the world. So we must prove to the world that Indian librarianship, Indian librarian information science is emerging to become a profession of world standard in its quality and uh, implementation, uh, quality and practice both. I must greet and congratulate on this occasion our uh, ILA new elected ILA president, Dr. Mohan Kirdai. And we are very fortunate to have him here. I think just last month he was elected. And it was a wonderful occasion for us to think of him as uh, to, to be our chief guest on this occasion. Indian Library Association is a great institution, a professional association that represents the whole profession in the country. It was it's an association where I'm sure all of you sitting here are members. I've been a member of this association, life member for almost four decades now, more than four decades, beginning of my career when I started as a librarian. And this is an association which was nurtured by great personalities by Dr. Ranganathan and uh, this is the uh, association we should really lead the profession. I'm sure, sir, under your uh, leadership, young leadership, I'm happy to see a youthful person at the helm of uh, Indian Library Association. And uh, during uh, your tenure, ILA will really become a strong organization making an indelible impact on not only in uh, the Indian LIS profession, but taking the Indi representing the LIS profession internationally as a profession of global standard. And uh, so I wish you all the best and uh, the whole profession is with you. Thank you. And we are very happy that you are here with us. Friends, let us uh, all join hands in uh, welcoming and congratulating him and applauding him. As I said, this conference, the success of this conference is something I leave it to you to let us know and uh, give us your feedback. But I'm very happy that this conference went on well and not bad, I would say with least effort from me. And a lot of effort from a uh, lot of teams behind this uh, uh, conclave, beginning from uh, the program team, led by Professor Shalnieras, which has put in a very rich uh, package of program which all of you have seen. I'm sure everyone organizing conclaves and conferences in India would be would feel envious when say, when they see this kind of a rich content package which was as good as even the previous one as most of you have seen on the Essence program also. So it is at the end of the day and this is what this what you pro deliver as a content is what you take home. 
I hope uh, you have a lot to take home with the effort of this team led by Professor Shalini Eras, which uh, uh, with uh, Dr. Vidyadhar Mudukavi, Dr. Madan Muttu, Dr. Mahesh, who is here, Dr. Bhakti Gala, and Dr. Anup Kumar, Dr. Ra <coughs> Rajkumar Bharadwaj, and uh, our friend, Professor Vaidande. And more importantly, we have uh, three members of the team, young, young team we added, uh, who have contributed. I'm very happy that uh, Yang is really going to gradually take over the world once more successfully. This team has put an excellent resource team, as you saw, and I would like to thank, uh, while thanking the team, I would like to thank all the resource persons who have taken, put in a lot of effort particularly some of them coming online at the odd hours um, since they are in a different time zone, the international speakers. And all speakers, I would like to thank them on this. The organizing team, the next one, has put a lot of uh, effort. This is the team which really does a lot of uh, hard and uh, dirty job of taking care of a lot of logistics, which is so important. If I get stranded in the hotel, right, I start cursing, right? They did not give any scope for it. And uh, the organizing team of uh, Professor Weidende here have done a marvelous job, I must say. Dr. Weidende and uh, Dr. Mahavir, Mr. Mahavir, who is the IT head taking care of the IT part of the infrastructure, providing an excellent, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, video connect through Zoom and other things. And uh, in fact, uh, I was telling Professor uh, Pillai, the acoustics of this auditorium is one of the best. And uh, so, an excellent auditorium and such a beautiful infrastructure, and more important, uh, Professor Pillai, the Vice Chancellor, his total support for the success of this event, I, it, which is something I would like to profusely thank. And his support really made us, you know, uh, very comfortable. I would say that it is one of the best organizational support we got as from our host partners in these last six. And this, I'm sure, will set a benchmark for our next conclave host partners. And there are other teams also, the awards team. We have two awards team and one of the awards team, the award team number one, which is an integral part of the conclave content, the case studies in innovation which happened, which was the previous session, the last technical session. That is very well structured and the team led by Professor Parsarthi with Members Dr. Jagdish Arora, Dr. Anand Bhairappa, Dr. Shantanu Ganguli, and Medha Joshi. Uh, Medha Joshi, uh, Jagdish Arora, and Parsarthi are here. They have put in a lot of effort. There were several uh, nominations for the awards committee, and they reviewed everyone and had a detailed interaction with each of these members' team to shortlist them. The shortlisted uh, team was uh, uh, candidates were called in online, spending with them 30 to 45 minutes to find out w how innovative their presentation, their whatever they have bid for, I mean, uh, sent the nomination for. Uh, it must have been a very highly involved job. And uh, 
Following that, shortlisting four people who presented here before all of you, and uh, audience have voted, the juries have voted, the jury committee. The result is going to be announced very soon, and I must thank Professor Parsarthi and team profusely for uh, conducting this whole program, a case studies innovation, which is leading to an award, innovation award. I mean, innovation is very important. Any progress happens through innovation. And if libraries fail to be innovative, they will not go, go forward. So the whole idea of this award is that to make libraries very innovative in their uh, functions and activities. So friends, uh, this team has put in a lot of effort. I profusely thank Professor Parsarthi and team. <laughs> this year, we have instituted one more award to encourage research in library and information science in the age, the, as we have already, we have already announced. And this team led by Professor Shalini Aras and her team members, Professor Swapna Banerjee, Professor Goswami, he's not here, Banerjee is here, Professor uh, uh, Prakriti Ranjan Goswami, who is in US now, Professor Raghavan, who was my teacher, he is in Mysore, he couldn't make it, and Professor Michael Shefford from Canada in Dallas University. This team reviewed and shortlisted several, I think some 25 nominations, which they have gone through and uh, selected one person. The award will be announced and presented here in this, uh, uh, in this program. And this again was a Herculean effort for them because for the first time we are doing this, had to such a, they had to set up a model and then based on that model, the model may be, since it is for the first time, there could be some limitation, but it stands as a base for us today. And what is important in all this is we, this, we decided that this should be for relatively young researchers in the sense between the age group of 30 and 50, I think. Is that, am, am I right? It's 30 to 50? 30? Yeah, so, so we decided that way. And I think Dakshalini will tell a little more about this. And uh, so this award, which carries a cash award of one lakh for attending any international conference for the winner, <laughs> will be announced in this uh, meeting, which is decided by this team. And uh, I know they have gone through several uh, rounds of meetings. And uh, my profuse thanks to uh, this awards team led by Professor Shalini Aras and our team members. Thank you very much, uh, Shalini. And let's uh, clap for them too. And when I'm talking about the award, one thing we have been very clear in our mind, we want to, as an organization, as a company, we want to stay away completely from the decision about the award. It's a bit of a tough job for us because we know that we are likely to make some of our customers unhappy who don't get the awards. It's really a tough thing. And uh, so the purpose of the award is not to please any of our customers. That's a different thing, this is a different thing. This is to encourage the LIS profession as a whole. So we decided we will completely stay away. And even I get to know who won the award only in this hall. Rarely ever I get to know that. Uh, so our job is to see that a good model is put in place. It evolves over a period of time. And uh, I'm sure that there are some flaws even now and it will evolve in the next couple of years. I'm sure it will, say, it will become a gold standard for an award. And uh, 
So th that's what we are looking for as part of LTC. And I would like to once again thank both the awards team for the full support. And back home, the informatics team of a uh, lot of people have put in a lot of effort. And my team is here partly. Uh, our uh, uh, CEO, Mr. Sanjay Grover, can you please stand up? And uh, Mr. Devendra Thakur, our uh, Director, Marketing and Sales. And uh, they are, they are, uh, and uh, we have three more people here. While they are not part of the this working team, they are here as part of learning team. Uh, it is, we thought it's important for them. Also, it's not enough for you, us to help uh, you to learn. We also need to learn a lot. And uh, we have uh, uh, Pratap Mahani, who is our uh, uh, technology head, and uh, Shailaja, who was our uh, product manager for JGate, our flagship product. She has left uh, just now because to catch up the flight. And uh, Samhita, who is uh, leading our technology group from the board level, and she's also my daughter. So this three people are here, and back home we have quite a few people supporting this whole activity. So that way, as I said in the beginning, uh, um, the least effort has gone by me, and uh, a lot of effort has gone in. I would like to thank every one of them for uh, making this LTC 2022 happen. And uh, I request all of you to send feedback, including those who attended online, so that we can improve upon. So the journey continues, LTC 2023. And uh, I have our uh, host partners who is online today and uh, I request our host partner to come online. Uh, uh, Ashoka University has uh, agreed to be our host partner. Mr. Prakash uh, must be <coughs> online. Is Prakash online? Prakash, are Hello. you online? Uh, yeah, you can okay. hear me. Welcome, Prakash. So, uh, we are at the fag end of the program, and yeah, I'm uh, watching. I'm also part uh, of thanks for joining us. I just made a, an announcement, and I would like uh, to hear our audience are uh, eager to hear from you, our uh, proposed uh, uh, host partner for LTC 2023. Good evening again, uh, all the LTC participants, and uh, I thank the informatics. We have decided to go with informatics next year for the LTC 2023, sometime in January. I congratulate uh, Somaya Vidya Vihar University and uh, informatics for successfully conducting this 22 edition. I have seen most of your sessions and you people have kept a very high benchmark for us to copy next year. As Satya was telling, LTC keeps evolving every year and uh, the intention is to make it more interesting and relevant. So our efforts will be towards that direction. So I invite all of you very much in advance. Keep your calendar free for the second week of January, not only for LTC, to go beyond to see the snow-clad Himalayas. That is after the conference. OK, OK. And now regarding the content, you'll hear from us more formally a little later. And I once again congratulate uh, Somaya Vidyavihar University and Informatics for this successful conduct. Bye and good evening, good night. Uh, thank you, Prakash. Yeah. With this, uh, once again, I thank all of you and particularly Professor Pillai and uh, uh, Professor uh, Vaidande with all their support for us. And I invite all of you to join us at LTC 2023 also, and encourage your friends, and encourage your uh, fellow colleagues in your organizations to join us to take this event forward. Thank you all again.
now the most awaiting moment for us is arrived uh, the awards announcement so i request professor parthasarathi to come on the dais and uh, announce the first award that is informatics innovation award uh, dignitaries on the dais and off the dais so this is a very special moment for all of us first of all i would like to request all of you to give uh, you know four participating libraries a big hand <laughs> they all presented so nicely and came here through a rigorous you know three rounds of selection first uh, uh, on behalf of my team i would like to share with you that first round was the paper selection second round we call them for online you know presentation and uh, kind of defending interview uh, we simply grilled them okay <laughs> so 40 45 minutes okay and uh, uh, then the final round what you all have witnessed i am not going into details of each of this because you have all uh, you know already witnessed it what i would like to share with you that uh, jury members actually considered four important parameters i already told you novelty replicability involvement of the professionals in the whole you know uh, project and finally the clarity in the presentation so 4 into 25 100 marks today we also conducted uh, you know opinion poll uh, from the audience uh, altogether offline we received 32 responses from the uh, audience and online presenter we received 14 polling total 46 so we have given a one uh, one to ten point scale so maximum marks is 460 most of the cases uh, you know uh, it actually matches with the uh, jury's way so that is the first time you know i i'm involved uh, i'm uh, involved with this uh, award from the very beginning from the inception actually this is the fifth award for this one previously it was called koha best koha implementation award then best technology implementation award now the best innovation award uh, so it is also evolving uh, with the koha conclave to ltc and so on so this is the first time i am witnessing that you know um, audience is in completely in opinion with the jury member so uh, i would like to present on behalf of my team uh, this particular I will request uh, uh, respected Professor Pillai to announce the and the award goes to announce the prestigious award. The award goes to the institution, the premier college in the country, St. Stephen's College, University of Delhi. So I request to felicitate the winner with the award. A big round of applause, please. So for the next award, that is Informatics Outstanding Researcher Award, I request Professor Sharini Aras, Chairman of Jury Committee, to come up on the dais and announce the award, please. Now just to clarify, Innovation Award, Informatics Innovation Award is for the institutions and Outstanding Researcher Award is for the individuals. Good evening, everyone. Uh, well, I'm standing before you now wearing the hat of the chair of the jury for the International, sorry, Informatics Outstanding Researcher Award. But before that, I would like to take a few moments to wear the hat of the program chair and then thank profusely Professor Rajshekhan Pillai, Vice Chancellor Somaya Vidya Vihar University. As Satya mentioned, I haven't seen, I haven't observed or experienced a Vice Chancellor, not just a Vice Chancellor of this university, as Ram was saying, he has known you as a Vice Chancellor since he has known you. He has been a Vice Chancellor for almost 20 years of several universities. So, and he's had the apex body, such as the University Grants Commission. And here he is, such a down-to-earth, I would even use the word cool cucumber person, interacting with each one of us, taking care of each one of us, 
including uh, sort of you know lunch, whether I had lunch or not. So I have no words to express. Not just thanks, my appreciation for your energy, for your world, everything, sir. Thank you so much. Please join me in. And another thing is, he was not just here during this, but even towards the, right, right from the starting the journey of LTC 2022, he has been behind us, the driving force to propel us to move forward. And really thank you for that, sir. Now I'll come back to the other hat that I'm wearing. That is the chair of the Outstanding Informatics Outstanding Researcher Award. As Satya mentioned, this is the first time informatics has instituted this award. I would like to take a little bit of credit for this in the sense I nudged Satya, Satya to institute this award because as a researcher I said, well, you are giving an award to the library, librarians, etc. You should have one award for the researcher also. So I would take the credit for nudging him. Well, all the credit goes to him, sorry. Just 5%, okay, give it to me because I nudged him to do this. So anyway, for having nudged him, I told him in the very beginning, well, I have enough on my plate, I don't want to, but since it is the first time that we are instituting, he said, let's do this. Go ahead and then, you know, set at least, you know, the first foundations of the methodology for the recognizing the uh, researcher. Well, it was a, a tough task for us, primarily because you have heard yesterday, day before yesterday, everybody talks about why all these indices, why measure, why bibliometrics, why this infometrics, why that index, etc. So all these measures are there. We know they are flawed, but then we need to use some metrics or the other in order to recognize the researcher. So anyway, we did, I mean, even in our announcement, before we announced the award and their uh, criteria for selection, we had some discussions about this, and then we came up with some simple criteria to begin with. The first criteria, of course, the criteria for eligibility was that it should be a researcher in India, not an Indian researcher, but is a researcher in India, residing in India, number one. And then they should be in the field of, of course, we did the information science part of it expanded. In fact, in a way, we are glad to have, there was one outside, outside meaning uh, uh, one of the nominations was from the computer science field that also kind of represents the expansion of the field. So library and information science field. And the third one was, as Satya mentioned earlier, we wanted to not only recognize and reward, but we wanted this to be a motivation or a spur for the researcher to do more. Okay, this is not a sort of a lifetime achievement award, but more like an award for youngsters who have still at least a minimum of 10 to 15 years of their career before them and of course the fire in the belly to take this award as the spur for moving forward. So these were the three, uh, I would say, conditions and uh, conditions as far as eligibility is concerned. And as far as the award is concerned, we said that one limit was 20 years period. We decided to take 20 years period, the productivity of, that is research publications of these people in the 20 years of 2000 to 2019. The reason being in order to identify some impact, etc., of this, at least we needed two to three years. And also it nicely fit in with the 20 year uh, period. So therefore, anyone born before 1971 became ineligible. But anyway, we did not have to worry about that because I think everyone heeded to that. So we had, before I go to the number of applications, etc., let me say the broader outline was, we said, we are going to consider only three types of publications. One is publication in peer-reviewed journal. Second one is publications in peer-reviewed conference publication, published proceedings, not just, you know, compiled, edited, etc., published proceedings. And the third one is, again, published book chapters or books. Published meaning published by a publisher, not self-published. These were the peer-reviewed as another. These were the three 
primary criteria are the channels or publication that we would consider for the award. So journals naturally was the first one, primary one. Second one was the peer reviewed published conference papers and third one also um, peer reviewed or published uh, books and book chapters. These were the three kinds of publication that we considered and of course we also mentioned what are the broad criteria. We said productivity and citation and impact. So that we had announced in our announcement itself. The first announcement went out on March 5th. Before that we had, as Satya mentioned, we have our jury. I am very thankful to the jury uh, for helping me, helping in the entire process. Our jury consisted of Professor Michael Shepard, Professor Emeritus of Department of Computer Science and, and, and Dalhousie University, Canada, who is a friend of, I would say, the LIS profession in India. He's been with Indian LIS profession since the last uh, four decades and who knows India as well, very well. Uh, and of course, uh, we have partnered with him. He has been my friend for more than 40 uh, years. So he is one of the members. Well, he would take efforts. In fact, I would say he did quite a bit of calculations, etc. So he was there with us. And then Professor Sapna Banerjee, who is here, she was one of the uh, other member of the jury. And um, Prakriti Ranjan Goswami, who is not here, but who is the former uh, head director of the NASDAQ, and he was also with the Ministry of Culture, etc. He was another member. And third member, as Satya mentioned, is Professor K. S. Raghavan, um, who was my teacher too. So these were the members of the uh, jury. So we, and now we met first on March 5th, because I had, I mean, me and Satya had come together with this kind of an idea of what could be the broad outline for the criteria for the selection of the uh, researcher. So we discussed, the jury discussed whether we should fine tune this anymore. So at the, in the first meeting it was decided, let us not fine tune it at this stage. Let us see what kind of nominations we get, look at the actual data and then th develop the model rather than develop the model and try to fit the data to that. So that's why we did not go further into the uh, mod methodology other than saying that we will take care of these things, that is, you know, publications in these three channels and also uh, impact factor and, you know, edge uh, index and those kinds of things. So after uh, the deadline was uh, March 31st and then we received 21 nominations. We were quite happy with this even though it was not great, but 21 was not a small number. So we did receive 21 nominations. And after the receipt of these nominations, we looked at the publications, etc. We met again uh, to decide on what should be the final methodology for shortlisting, etc. So the committee decided that we would have the quick and simple method of follow the Google Scholar H index and I index to begin with and then score these 21 people. So we did that simple Google, that was also not simple by the way, because many of these nominations did not have a Google Scholar profile too. And we had, in fact, that's why I said, it was I kind of dug and found out for four or five of them. And then Mike said, I said, I, I could not find the Google profile, Google Scholar profile for these people. And Mike uh, said, I will find out. And he did some more digging and found the Google Scholar profile. Of, why I'm mentioning is in terms of the theme of the conference. Finding data is not that important or fine tuning data is not that easy, I'm saying. So anyway, we found that that was the quick and first filter that we used based on the ranking of these 21 people using the Google Scholar's H index and I10 index. So we selected, or rather filtered, I would say, rather than selection, we filtered or selected out of that filtration process all those uh, nominations which had more than 10 H index. I think that was the first filter that we used. So we had these seven people. Uh, before that, I should also mention there was some, well, yeah one other process that we had to do was even though we had clearly said don't submit papers which were published after 29, there were many who had published that, that we also had to, I mean, as per our guideline, we removed those publications and then we had to fine tune it further, okay. So then we had seven people through this filter, that is those who had more than 10 
uh, H index, and we also consider I10 now. So together we did. So let me just make a mention of those who made it to the first level of shortlisting. So one is uh, Professor Sampath Kumar of Tumkur University. Second one is Fayez uh, Ahmad Lon of University of Kashmir. And then we had uh, K.P. Singh of Delhi University. Then uh, Vel Mugrikan of Meenakshi Medical College. And then Ganesh Survase of BARC Mumbai. And Elango of Rajagiri, uh, Rajagiri uh, College, uh, College of Social Sciences. Then we had Rajkumar Bharadwaj of St. Stephen's College. Did I get all of them? Seven? Yeah. So Sampath Kumar, then uh, Fayaz Lone, K.P. Singh, uh, Velmurugan, Ganesh Survase, and Elongo, and Rajkumar Bharadwaj. These seven people were the shortlisted ones. So we had these seven people with more than uh, uh, H index of 10. Then we further went to each and every publication of this to develop a what we call as a researcher score. The researcher score was calculated based on, we had mentioned that we are going to take the site score of the journal in which they have published. Okay, so I must also mention there were some journal articles which were not having a site score. That also had to be filtered out. Okay, so we measured, so the formula was number of publications in journal A multiplied by the site score of the journal plus number of publication in general, journal B multiplied by the site score of that. So cumulative of this was the researcher site score. So, the, sorry, researcher score. So with this mechanism of filtering, we finally got two, I would say, finalists. Two finalists were identified because they were in such a close race. It was a close race between these two finalists who had almost close, uh, I would say, researcher score based on the general, uh, these filtering mechanisms. So these two finalists are Sampath Kumar of Tumkur University and Raj Kumar Bharadwaj of St. Stephen's College. These two, again, with a fine comb, we looked at their profile. We looked at where, how much of their publications, their first, I mean, solo authors and joint authors, and we factored in all those measures into this. Because we had also announced that we are going to consider these. Remember, everything is transparent. Whatever we had announced, we said we are going to take into account the joint authorship, the single authorship, and all of that. We looked at all of this fine comb. In fact, the way we did it was we were five of us. We took each one of us took two, two scales so that in case we come up with some errors, so we have this you know, double blind method like that, not blind particularly because we knew the names. We had to have the names in order to find their score. So two uh, jury members for one candidate. So they came up with this independent score with a fine comb. And then we found that based on all of this, that is, as I said, the additional measure of book chapters, solo authorship, and all of that, we came up with the winner. So we have had four meetings post all this on April 12th, April 14th, and April 16th and 18th. So after all this, we came up with the winner. As Satya said, we did not inform him. We, for the final one, we said, you are not able to join us for this meeting. We are going to identify the winner. So I will, I have the pleasure of submitting as well as the individual researchers going to this
thank you very much uh, to each one of you. I am really grateful to the organizer and the chairman of uh, chairperson of the Innovations Award, and I'm also thankful to the chair of uh, chair and uh, jury members of the Outstanding Research Award as well. So I'm really grateful to each one of you. And for the Innovation Award, actually, uh, I de dedicate these awards to all the respondents actually who participated in the survey which we conducted to understand uh, the, their requirements. So it goes to them. I'm really thankful to them. And I also dedicate this award to my family member actually who really, uh, you know, uh, tolerated my, you know, <laughs> and I was uh, also skipping uh, going out with them, uh, my wife, my kids, uh, my parents. So it's really, uh, uh, you know, satisfactory generally. And as Shalini Ma'am has said, it's a motivation. So Outstanding Research Awards is uh, the research which I uh, publish uh, is mainly in the last 10 years. And I have 25 more years to go. And I'm sure it will encourage me uh, to do much better research, which has a better social and practical implication. And that's a, and how I achieve it, that's a uh, very fundamental is that first I think it, and then I solve the problems. Then I communicate it, and then I collaborate with the people. And that's how it make an impact. So think, solve, communicate, collaborate is the mantra uh, of success. Uh, and getting these awards. And thank you very much to each one of you. I'm really glad to be here, and it's really uh, a fascinating moment for me. Thank you very much. So now we take this opportunity to felicitate uh, Dr. Mohan Kennedy uh, by Vidyavyar University, Somaya Vidyavyar University. So I request Honorable Vice Chancellor Sir to felicitate him uh, with a memento. Thank you, sir. Now, uh, informatics wish to felicitate Dr. Mohan Khede. So I request Mr. Envi Satyanarayana to felicitate him with a memento. Now I request Dr. Vaidande to felicitate Professor Parthi Sarathi for acting as jury for awards committee. Thank you. Now informatics wish to take this opportunity to felicitate uh, Dr. Vaidande by presenting a memento. Uh, now I invite our Honorable Vice Chancellor, sir, for the presidential address. Over to you, sir, please. Dr. Mohan Kade. Chief Guest of the Biodictory Function and President of the Indian Library Association. Dr. Satinara, uh, Mr. Satinarayana, how do you call him? Mr. Satinarayana, uh, Informatics CEO. Dr. Vaidande, my colleague. Professor Shalini Aras, because there, somebody pronounced it differently. So I want to make it very clear that she's Aras, Aras, meaning, of course, you know, it's roller king. <laughs> Some, somebody mentioned that Urs. Professor <laughs> Shalini Aras. Dr. Jagdish Arora and all distinguished uh, library professional, library and information science professionals in the country distinguished delegates who are attending this function here and online also, my colleagues from the university, and all other uh, participants who are attending this function. I'm extremely glad to be here in the concluding session of this uh, 
conclave. In fact, I am participating in this library technology conclave for the fourth time. One, to receive once the informatics oration award lecture, then second in Cochin University, and third in last or during online, you, uh, it, was, it was an online function, we got costed from Bangalore, and then here. I have seen this activity going systematically, growing in, a, in the right perspective. Let me congratulate uh, informatics and all the library professionals, library and information science professionals in the country for taking it forward in the right perspective. And I also see that if for, for this particular conclave, this is the third function. This is the third function for the uh, library technology conclave. First, we had it in Bangalore. We had uh, IIIT director, uh, Professor uh, Devabrata Das and Josh Nicholson from UK or Germany. Uh, Josh Nicholson giving the lecture in the curtain racer function. And in the second curtain raiser function, physical, physical curtain raiser function here, we had uh, the vice chancellor of Tata Institute of Social Sciences, Professor Shalini Bharat, and uh, Dr. Mr. Ajit Balakshnan, founder, CEO of um, Rediff Mail, uh, in, in this, in the very same hall. And, and for the last three days, we have been seeing the type of presentations, plenary lectures, uh, question, discussions, uh, the relevance of the themes, all these things we are witnessing. Of course, I attended 60% of the, say only 60% of the thing physically, 40% uh, 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 sitting at my room, uh, interacting with the participants. I consider it a great privilege and honor for the Swamiya Vidya Vihar University to have hosted this uh, very important function. I take this opportunity to congratulate the academic conference chair or conclave chair, Professor, uh, uh, Professor, <coughs> sorry, Professor Ars and uh, Satyanarayana uh, for taking this activity in a very systematic way all these years. Uh, the team from Informatics, of course, now they are all part of uh, this university also because we, are all, we have been interacting with them for the last, uh, one, or you have been interacting with them for the last one year for this very important function. You are part and parcel of our uh, Swamiya Vidya Vihar family also. Uh, I have learned a lot from this conference, to be frank. I am basically a researcher, of course, <laughs> you have been describing me in different ways, but 51 years, 1971, I started teaching and research in this country, 1971. So 51 years I have been teaching, even now I do research, I publish something here and there, uh, uh, guide uh, and um, uh, work as mentor for research students in my own area of chemistry. So I, I was wondering what are these people going to say, research data management and all that. So I, have, I could see that how research data how research data, for example, from my inference, I, I, I uh, get the data from my inference or my maybe one or two, maybe guy, my guide also, my supervisor also, or my coworker also. We interpret the research data, we get some inference and we, pub, we, we do publish and we do probably the student get a degree, uh, I get a corresponding other publication, something, something else. These are all good things. But beyond that, there is a lot of relevance for that particular research result. From that research result, if uh, others look at it in different perspective, what additional things can arrive, uh, get, uh, derive out of it? That is something remarkable. And this goes probably some sort of a, uh, in a geometric uh, proportion, several people doing it. Yesterday we were hearing about the, in the keynote address during uh, Ajit, Kam, Ajit Kambawe's lecture. How, how, what, what all things we, we could derive, new results we could derive, new instruments which we could develop because of the 
a proper analysis of the research data. Of course, I have always one question, you all say open science, but of course somebody, people will think about it science, that science is open knowledge, it's actually open, open knowledge. So, uh, I was mentioning, lot of our research data, data is the king, of course, we say that they like that, but from data with the new information technology resources, information tools, how data can be analyzed in a in wide, large wider perspective and bring new research results into it. It's, of course, last year time uh, we were mentioning about e-science and all that. Now, I, I, I could get a lot of information. Of course, I know that majority of the participants are from the library and information and computer science profession, uh, information technology professionals. But in basic sciences, in social sciences, in languages and literature, what all additional things can be derived from uh, the, the basic data which we are getting from experimental uh, or empirical research. That is something remarkable and it is very important that this message should go to uh, the, um, the academic community in a, in a much wider perspective. For example, uh, the uh, all academics, they, whether they are doing core research in their own very specific areas, they should understand the potential of uh, analyzing the research data and then sharing the research data uh, so that different perspectives, different dimensions can be brought into uh, research and new results can be arrived. And of course, sharing this information is very important. All these, um, all these things we have discussed so different ways and means to promote such sharing of knowledge and then for, for enhancing the knowledge further. This is very important and therefore this is definitely as, uh, men, uh, as earlier indicated, it is the, the uh, probably it is the, uh, it is going to be a major a area of human intervention in research, ma making use of the research data in the, in the right perspective. Uh, of course, another thing, yesterday I was also wondering, after hearing all these things, we are talking about uh, uh, several, uh, giving all the data open and all that. But then there is a, there is a tendency, for example, the, for example, one, uh, if I get some result immediately, I should get an intellectual pro copyright, intellectual property right and all that. Whether, uh, how, how, of course, up that after a certain number of years, that will become open, that I know, tec uh, technically that will be become open. Uh, maybe, I do not know what is the mechanism in uh, seeing to it that such information is also going to, it may take some time, but it's also, uh, maybe I, I may be wrong, but it is also very important. But, but there is a feeling that um, uh, uh, all knowledge, only when it is applied, it, it is important. But there is nothing like no, knowledge and applied knowledge. There is n only knowledge and applicable knowledge. Every knowledge, every, every knowledge is applicable. Probably it is a question of the context. It may take some time, it may take years, it may be, in, it may be very quick, and therefore uh, with the, uh, research data analysis in the right perspective, understanding the context of the society uh, it's very important, and the context of the society, for, for a context of the knowledge, for it's, it's very important. It has social uh, dimensions, and it's very dynamic in nature. It changes from place to place, and it uh, changes from time to time. So understanding, probably, there is one of the research research somebody gathered uh, some, uh, maybe 100 years ago. It will be, if we extract those research result and apply in the, in the current context, it, it will have different dimensions. So that is the social relevance of knowledge. So uh, analyzing research data in such perspective will give us uh, an understanding the, of the social relevance of knowledge and only when we understand the social relevance of knowledge, the knowledge will become applicable. Uh, if you do not understand the social relevance of knowledge, uh, probably the, even the application which we intend, we may fail. And therefore, it is important that we uh, just look at all these research perspectives in inter and in interdisciplinary and transdisciplinary perspective and then try to understand 
uh, the, uh, the overall implications. I am very confident that uh, inter interventions, quality interventions of this kind by informatics and universities and uni academic institutions like ours will definitely lead to uh, very positive results in uh, research data management. Let me, uh, on my personal behalf, uh, once again congratulate all the, organi the entire organizing team, uh, the jury chairs, uh, the, pa the participants in the uh, com uh, not it's a competition, participants in the comp competition, uh, the award winners, uh, and the participants, institutions which have participated in the final round of awards, for example, the TCS Information Resource Center, National Social Science Documentation Center, Scientific Information and Resource Division, IGCAR, and of course the St. Stephen's College, University of Delhi, they're all doing excellent work. And of course, this is only a cross section of the institutions which are doing such work. And there has to be a mechanism by which such, such work are, are identified, recognized, appreciated, and encouraged. And therefore, the awards, the institution of such awards are very, very important. And that will give impetus for institutions and individuals to come up in a very significant way. Uh, let me take this opportunity to congratulate Dr. Vaidand for all the efforts. Because I do not know for the last three years, three, three days, how many kilometers he have walked around, you know, from, from my office to several offices to several people <laughs> in this, in this two <laughs> I think let us, uh, I am extremely glad that he has done an excellent work. And the entire credit, credit not goes to the Somaya Vidya Vihar University, Dr. Uh, Hindura Vaidande for doing this excellent work. He is new to this institution. I am also new, but he is new to this institution. Uh, I am very confident that he will bring up the university library and the programs which we are doing in a very significant way. Let me congratulate you and appreciate you for the entire effort, Dr. Hindura Vaidande. Thank you very much. Of course, I am not, of course, I know most of you now. If I say the names and all that, it will take time. I have probably, I have a few more meetings today to attend. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you all, all of you. Uh, we take this opportunity uh, when felicitation is remaining. So we take this opportunity to felicitate Professor Shalini Aras. Uh, I request VC sir, Honorable VC sir, to felicitate Professor Shalini Aras uh, with a memento. Thank you. So we are towards the end of the function. So on behalf of Department of Library and Information Science and University Library, I take pleasure in presenting vote of thanks. We take pleasure in thanking Dr. Mohan Kherede for accepting our invitation and for being with us as chief guest. Thank you very much, sir. Our Somaya management is always supportive to us for all the continuing education programs. Thanks a lot. Our VC sir was keen for happening of this conclave. He was our strong supporter and instrumental in getting it done. Our heartfelt thanks to you, sir. Thank you so much, Mr. Satyanarayana and informatics team for choosing our Somaya Vidyayar University campus for the sixth conclave. Thank you so much. Our sincere thanks to Professor Shalini Aras for her support in planning and executing of each and every event of this conclave. It was a really, really great to have you with us from day one of conceiving the idea of having the conference here till this moment. Thank you so much, madam. Thanks a lot to all the resource persons, panelists, anchors for all sessions. Thanks a lot to you all. Thanks to the delegates who have shared their valuable feedbacks. 
We thank Dr. Monika Khanna, Director, Somaya Institute of Management, KJSIM, and her team for making this auditorium and labs available for this conclave. A big thank to their staff for their enthusiastic support. We thank Muskan Madam and her public relations, that is PR team, for their assistance in conclave. Thank you so much, Mr. Mahavir and his team from Data Center. Without their unconditional IT support, nothing could have moved ahead. They are our backbones in true sense. Thank you so much, Data Center team. Our sincere thanks to heads of all SOMA institutions. Memories are precious to all of us. Thanks a lot to Mr. Prashant and his team for treasuring memories of LTC in your camera. Thank you so much. For videography, we thank Vipul Pandulkar and his team. And for LED and audio, we thank VB team. Thanks a lot. Thanks to canteen team for delicious food, delicious and timely food arrangements. Thank you so much. Our sincere thanks to all wonderful participants. Hope you all will cherish memories of this conclave forever. And thanks to everyone who has been helpful for occurrence of this conclave. So thank you so much. Have a great day ahead. Uh, small announcement, two small announcements are there before we conclude. Uh, participants are requested to collect their certificates from registration desks. And all the material, all the PPTs will be uploaded on YouTube links in a, in a duration of week. And all the material will be available on LTC 2022 website. And it will be available for one year. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, we will conclude here uh, with the permission of VC, sir. Thank you so much. <laughs>